Well, there is nothing quite like this occasion. Welcome to the UEFA Champions League final. The best two teams in Europe this season preparing to go head-to-head -head for the crown. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined as always on these big occasions by the former Arsenal and England defender Lee Dixon. It is Manchester City taking on Chelsea. Well, it's an absolute pleasure, Derek, to be here. Very, very lucky indeed to be broadcasting to millions and millions of people, let alone watching this fantastic game. I'm sure the players are a little bit nervous as well with that audience looming in the background, tuning in on their televisions. It's going to be a great night. I'm very excited to be here. Hopefully, we get the game that this tournament deserves. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne starts with Rodri in central midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. Playing Champions League on and off, the winter break, all of that culminates in tonight. Very, very big night for everybody concerned, supporters, but most so the players. They have to stay focused, play the game, not the occasion. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Thiago Silva plays with Kurt Zuma in central defence. Mateo Kovacic starts with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And Olivier Giroud is given the vote of confidence in attack. Rodri. And take it away. Kevin De Bruyne, one of the complete midfield players in the modern game. Lee, what do you expect we'll see from him in this match? Well, if I'm a teammate of this lad, I want to get the ball to him as often as I can because he's a safe... In with a chance! And he clears it out of harm's way. Walker. Rodri. Gabriel Jesus. De Bruyne now. It's a promising City move. Gabriel Jesus has eyes for goal. From so far away, it didn't appear to be the high percentage option. Close, though. Well, he surprised everybody, including me. Long-range effort, and it wasn't too far off, was it? Foden. Gundogan. And now Rodri. Might be a chance here. Well, they can say a big thank you to the goalkeeper. That was inspirational. Well, that's as good as a goal at the other end. Brilliant save from the keeper. And what? Just too close to the goalkeeper in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, poor technique, really, and the goalkeeper's not troubled. Mateo Kovacic. James. This is Thiago Silva. Mount. Here's Kovacic. N'Golo Conte. And the ball back with City now. Here's Cancelo. Now let's see about the cross. And overcame the ball from the flank, but dealt with in the end. Sustained pressure, and they have the ball now. Stones. It's with Gundogan. Rodri. Gundogan. 
City certainly having the lion's share of possession, but the rest needs work. It's too slow moving the ball. There's no imagination. Need a lot more from them. Oh, completely misfired, but that one a long way off target. Yeah, but it goes in the top corner and your hero is worth an effort. Mount. Now Giroud. And Chelsea get the decision from the referee. Can he do it to take the lead? And a goal for Chelsea! They've hit the front in the Champions League final. Oh, they've got the noses in front. Can they keep it? We look at this again what they always say focus on the ball ensure you strike it cleanly he's done just that what a finish well, let's have another view of that goal well it can be difficult being a manager at times none more so than now on they go again a wake-up call for the city players maybe can they find a response now De Bruyne. Stones. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Mares. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Foden. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Given away by City. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. It is to be a throw-in. Mares. It's with Gundogan. Joao Cancelo. Foden he might be able to profit from the wide position Mateo Kovacic Conte has it here's Kovacic James Olivier Giroud Conte now Giroud Strong play here. City have the ball again. Mateo Kovacic. And Mount. Timo Werner. Just the challenge that was required. Ruben Diaz. De Bruyne. Well read to win possession back. Chilwell. Mount. Now Giroud. Conte. What can Chelsea do from this position? An unforced error, you've got to say. Gundogan. De Bruyne, opportunity it is, he must finish, and a goal, and what an important goal in the grand scheme of things. Well, it's the sort of determination and desire that's got them here, all the momentum is with them now. Well, here's the replay, it's a lovely time pass over a static defence, and he had choices of what type of finish to apply, and bang, he goes for the smash, lovely goal. Well, the manager knows that's plan A sorted, got themselves back into this. Now can they go again? Oh, 
So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Conte. Timo Werner. Nicely timed tackle. Rodri. Oh, a lovely ball. De Bruyne. It has to be. And they notch in front. Well, fabulous celebrations. They've got their noses in front, Derek. Can they stay there? Well, here's the replay. And what a ball that is to put him through. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. in the dying embers will it prove decisive here Kurt Zuma here's Chilwell and that was a very fine read magnificent challenge to win it back an incisive pass. Well, no danger now. And in the second half, the signs are positive. They can't relax, Lee, but they ought to be pleased. With a narrow lead and the clock ticking, it's so easy for the City players to lose concentration. This could be the equaliser. the replay and the little one too is superb but as good as the move is the goalkeeper has had an absolute shocker beaten at his near post terrible well it's not easy being a manager and that's why they've let him down a bit there and Manchester City will go to their bench And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. And Chelsea have given us away. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner. Let's have a look at that again. The keeper thinks he's done enough, but he hasn't. It's just gone past him. He does get a touch on it, though. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, just look at the reactions on the touchline. They just need to keep their composure now. This is far from over. A change in the offing for City. Champions League trophy lift for Manchester City. The agony and the ecstasy. Well, growing up as a young boy, Derek, as a Manchester City fan, I never thought I would see this night. The Champions League going to Manchester City. What a night. Forever in the shadow of Manchester United. Not this evening. deserving 
And any second now, these players will be presented with old big ears, as we sometimes call the trophy league. Yeah, I love this trophy. It's one of my favourites. So big as well. I'm not so sure how heavy it is. Never got that chance to lift it. But these players are going to get that chance tonight. The captain first. They've worked tirelessly and now they have the Champions League trophy. Manchester City. What an achievement by all concerns. City, the best team in Europe. Well, that's the party to be at tonight. Definitely follow those players. And what would a celebration be without a chance to party with the fans? I always find it's a little bit disappointing. You can't take the trophy into the fans and let them touch it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. I wonder who's in charge of the music tonight, Derek, at the party. I think you might be, given your connections with this club. Well, it's official. The Champions League victors, Manchester City.